Hey friends and welcome back to Farm Girl in Progress. I am Nadine and today is day two of our A-frame chicken tractor build and it is cold and rainy outside so I may just need a coat on top of this here hoodie. But um, <clears throat> today we are going to be working on getting the hardware cloth on and the floor of the coop situated and then possibly the nesting boxes if I can squeeze it in. I have to work today so I've only got a few hours to work with so um, let's just see what we can get done today. It is really cold today guys. I'm shivering but there's work to be done so dealing with the cold we must. So let me show you kind of where we left off and what I'm going to be tackling First. So here's how we left things the other day. It's looking pretty good so far. Here is the door. This is going to be um, closed in. And then this just slides open for the door here. And then what I did to make the, the slide was <clears throat> I took a piece of pallet wood here and I actually ripped it so what that means is if you don't know so here's a full-size piece of pallet wood what I did was I ripped it down the center using our table saw and <clears throat> this is the first piece here and I lifted it up maybe about half an inch off the ground and screwed it on which gave us this ledge in here that the wood's sitting on. And then I screwed the other half of it up a little bit higher on top of the first piece to give us this lip here so that the wood doesn't come out. And then I just did it the whole way across and that gives us this sliding door. And then on the top is basically the same thing, just upside down and I didn't rip them. They're the full size. Just a full size piece of pallet wood. <clears throat> and that gives us enough of a groove here. You can see it kind of back there. Um, let me pull it over. You can see how it slides through there like that. <clears throat> it is a little tight on this side, but I'm not too worried about that. So that's how we made our working sliding coop door for this and then somehow I'm just going to like attach a stick or a piece of wood or something <clears throat> so I can just pull it open from one of the sides so I don't have to put a big door in the hardware cloth on the side here. Now what I do need to do is I need to shorten this a little bit and bring it in this way because my hardware cloth is only four feet wide and I don't want to have to cut a small strip to fit on the end here so I'm just gonna bring it in I think it's like four or five inches so that it's four foot this way and I can just staple it to the two by fours and not have to worry about cutting it at all it'll just be one solid piece that goes up and over so that's the first thing that I'm going to do today and then I will work on getting the hardware cloth on there and then we'll work on this back part of the coop here.
so we got the hardware cloth mounted on this side. I'm going to leave the other side unattached for right now because I still need to figure out how I want to pull that door through the wire. Now I'm going to work on the floor over here. And what I'm going to do is instead of my original thought was just laying, laying wood like this on top of the two by fours. And that would definitely be the easier way to go. But I noticed over here, if I do it that way, that I'm gonna get bedding all stuck here and eventually stuck in that groove. And I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is put a drop floor in and I'm gonna put a little ledge about halfway down all the way around and sink the floor down so there's a little bit of a gap. It's not going to prevent all the bedding from getting in there, but it may help a little bit. So what I'm going to do is take these roughly two by fours. They're pallet wood, guys. They're not exact, but I'm going to rip them in half to make the ledge that goes around the bottom. And I'm going to do that over here on the table saw.
So it's just palette pieces and it sunk down a little ways in the framing. That way any bedding in here um, won't fly out of that hole as as bad. It's still going to, but it won't be as bad. Um, now I just need to cover this. And then I think I can wall in, um, oh goodness, this side over here with some pieces of palette. And then that half will be done. Um, and then I'll just have to put the nesting box over here. I'm not sure how I want to build that yet or out of what materials. I got to see what I have laying around. Um, and then figure out how to, how I want to slide the door open and closed. And then finish the wiring here. And then I'll put a door on this end of some sort. And I may actually have to do like a flip door here so I can clean the, the coop out. But it's coming along guys. I'm really liking how it's looking. This is looking better and better guys as I finish pieces and parts of this thing. So here is the one side and it looks awesome. And I think I'm just going to leave this open here for ventilation. I am going to put a piece of wood across the top of this just to kind of finish it off and secure the top wire just a little bit better. Um, so it will be covered so there won't be any rain getting down in there but that'll give the heat a place to go. Um, and then it'll be the same way on this side. So I think what I need to do next is cover this hole, figure out how I want to do the roost in here. And then I think because I need to do a flip door here, I need to put a two by four, um, running across. That way I have a place to secure the door and then I can... Um, side the top part of this and uh, yeah I think it's all coming together what do you guys think I think it's pretty good for repurposed materials and free I like free it looks so good let's get the next part done so excited